Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today's video is going to be about an update on my current uh, credit card flaw situation here in the Philippines. I hope you guys enjoy this video coming up. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Tom, of course. Hello, hello. Uh, today's video is about uh, update on my uh, credit card uh, situation that happened at uh, one of our banks here. Um, the update, the latest update as of today, is that um, the funds have been captured and dispersed. I did not receive the funds. The credit, what happened? Ruth went to town. Uh, she, we all went to town. Uh, she went to get money at the local ATM. Uh, we were eating lunch, uh, and it was just our, our monthly budget money. And uh, you can only pull out 10000 at a time. So we used to just pull out, it was $200. We used to just pull out $400 and just go with that until. And if we need more at the end of the month, we get more. Well, uh, what had happened, she put the card in, everything was fine. And as it was getting ready to disperse, it went through the system. That particular ATM went blank. That ATM went blank. Now, I thought that the other ATMs went blank at the same time, but I was wrong. Uh, they did not. That particular one lost the car, lost internet, according to the bank, and so it seized and captured $220. Now, what that means is uh, the bank sees it as something that is, in U.S., sees it as captured and taken out of my bank. In other words, in other words, somebody grabbed the money. Well, uh, the guy says he captured the card. The guy says, come back. That was 1 o'clock. Come back in two hours and get your card back. Well, we came back in two. We came back in three. And we came back in four. The card was not available uh, to be picked up because the guy is in another place trying to get uh, whatever, solve the problems that he has there. So they have problems with the ATMs, apparently. Well, no one has the key at this particular bank. Why well, they don't have a key, I have no idea. So, because this, I guess, trust issues, uh, I guess there's a company, that's what they do. They fill up these machines at this particular bank. So, uh, finally the guy showed up, and we had to wait until they get the ATMs back online, because not only that ATM was down, eventually all of them went down in a three, four-hour period. Now, this particular bank is uh, one that does supplies the money for Dole. What they do, they give them a credit card and uh, for their pay, and then they just go draw it out at the bank. So, for an example, they made, uh, say they made 5,000 pesos that week. They go and they pull the money out at the bank. So, they just give them a card, or load their card. I'm sorry, they already have a card. They just load their card with 5,000 pesos. So, and then they go to the bank and they withdraw their money. So they get them paper checks. It's their version of direct deposit. Well, what happens is it gets overloaded with people. Sometimes there will be a line of 50 people, 20 people, 100 people, depending on the day. Four to ATMs running to almost, well, they're running 24 hours a day. Now, these ATMs are, uh, you know, they're updated, but they're really just, they're wore out. All ATMs that I find here are wore out. So we finally got the card back after waiting and, and complaining, and Ruth went in, and I went in, and finally the guy says, I'll get you your card. I was the third person that day that it happened to. They gave me my card. I left. Went to the bank the next day. The bank the lady says, well, I really don't know what to do. I said, well, give me my 10,000 pesos that you took. Or she says, well, as far as we can see, uh, your bank still has it. And I said, no, I have it right here on my phone. And here is my information, and it shows that it was pulled out and taken. If you need to chat with the person in U.S., there's a chat right here. We can talk to them directly. You can talk directly with my bank right here. All you got to do is hit the chat and start talking. No, I don't want to do that, sir. Okay. What do I need to do to get my money back? Well, what you need to do is fill out this form, put your name, address, phone number, and we'll let you know in two weeks. Well, two weeks will be up this week coming up. We're currently in that week. So we'll see when we go back this week. Now, from what I understand, she was not very, from what I was talking to her, she's not very uh, excited about me. In other words, 
she doesn't think I'm going to get the money back. Now, whether or not that money comes back or not, I have no idea. I have kind of written it off. I should not write it off. What can I do as an American or a foreigner try to get my money back? Well, I can write the CEO of the bank. I can raise sand. We even have the date time, uh, date stamp of when that money was uh, supposedly dispersed or it was captured or all the above. Now, what kind of precautions do you need to do uh, here when you're coming here or when you do come here or the ones that are already here? I'm not the only one that's had this problem. Other people had a problem. Another uh, foreigner, Australian in Luzon, had the same situation happen to him last week. They captured 10,000 peso also. It was at a, uh, another bank. I'm not going to say the name. Uh, it was at another bank, another uh, completely different bank. And they captured the money, took the money, and captured the car. So he went to inside and said, well, we don't have a key. We've got to get a key. Well, what do you mean you don't have a key? This is the main branch. Why don't you have a key? Well, the technicians have keys. Well, how do you fill the money? Well, we have to wait. We have to call technicians. This is supplied usually in the middle of the night because there's 24-hour guard at these banks. And I didn't even know. I knew that, but I didn't know that. So there's a guard that sits there 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks out of the year at these banks and make sure that everybody's transaction goes fine. There's no problem or, or issues, you know. <clears throat> well, this particular lady says, uh, what we'll do is I will try to see if I can rush this up. Well, uh, when she came back, I said, listen, I, I just kind of want to ask a question. If you don't mind me asking, what, what if this is not, what, what do I have in recourse? Well, sorry, sir, I don't know. It's like, sorry, sir, I, out of stock. So, you have to really make sure. Now, where do you go to make sure that your funds can be completed at this, that? I came upon a conclusion. The best resource in this current situation, because the remittance centers, such as Wells Fargo, Remitly, World Transfer, and Value, all the remittance centers that you have overseas, they have blocked all of us, or a lot of us Americans or foreigners, sending money here. And the reason they've done that is because of past things that's happened here. I can no longer use uh, Wells Fargo, MoneyGram, any of the money situations. I even contacted them on phone recently, and they said you cannot receive your money. Well, <laughs> uh, you can't. You can't. You, in other words, you can't send yourself money there no more. Okay, so what do I do in that situation? The best thing for me to do is what. Bank transfer for bank to bank. Now, what do I need to do to that? i got to open up an account. There's a process and open up a bank account. It's not as bad as it seems. I just got to have IDs. I have to have pictures and things like that. So our next step is to open up a bank account. We will open up a bank account. Now take your, your Visa card and then you can open up an account. But it's only good. You cannot open up an account if you're a tourist visa. If you're on a tourist visa, which I am not. But I'm saying if you're on tourist, you cannot open up an account. You used to, you could. Used to, they, you could. You could open up an account at any time on a, on a visa. But now, tourist visa, you cannot. Now, they changed that. Well, some some say they're still doing it. But I don't know. I don't know. If it, I don't know. I'm only, uh, I'm only a messenger there. I don't know if they can or can't. I know I cannot. But I have. I can now because I have uh, my visa that I've had now for a while. So what we need to do is always try to prepare ourselves for that and I'm assuming that will probably be my my uh, next thing to do but get this this will really knock your socks off you will not believe on a bank to bank transfer how long it can take some says oh man I never have a problem I send money there all the time bank to bank transfer I never have a problem why are you having all the problems I get mines in four to five business days working days from the time I put it in well, it's not always the case at banks. Uh, you can actually wait up to two weeks, maybe three weeks, before funds are transferred in. You can write yourself a check, deposit in an account, uh, transfer. Now, you can transfer. A lot of the online banks or banks will give you accessibility to transfer money from point A to point B. But if you have a bank-to-bank -bank transfer like my Wells Fargo or Capital One, I can do uh, a bank-to-bank -bank transfer. Well, it's good and bad to do a bank-to-bank -bank transfer. It can take time. It can cost money. It's only five bucks. 
uh, or you can use Western Union. Even though I'm not a uh, uh, member anymore, I, they said I could transfer money bank to bank. Now, the thing of it is, is that's that's the hardest thing to ask yourself is what to do next. So make sure you plan yourself that time if they hold your money. Now here is another example. Uh, a friend of mine, his name is Carlos. He lives up in Luzon. He has his direct deposit, his Social Security direct deposit in the bank. They give him access to his money usually on the 4th or 5th or 6th or 7th or 8th or 9th or 10th or 11th or 12th or 13th or 14th or 15th. Sometimes it can be two weeks before he can get access to the money. Even though it's deposited on the on the third, it's deposited on the third, but he doesn't get access to it in debt because the bank or the bank manager sometimes will hold the funds up to make sure it's all everything okay 10 or 14 days. What the problem with that is, depending, uh, it's good and bad. Uh, sometimes it works perfectly, he said. Sometimes it does not. So what he decided to do is go back to USA, have a deposit there, and find some other means. He's just been going to ATM and have his money withdrawn. But here's something that's really going to kick you. It now costs, where I live, $17 to pull out $200. And then you have a $2.50 charge on top of that. It's just say close to $19.50, just say $20, which is 1,000 peso, to pull out $200. That's a nightmare. So you're paying $40 a month in fees. Now, that's just recently changed for me. Now, my, my Capital One and my Wells Fargo, since I have international, they will reimburse me up to $7.50. Now, which is fine, so you're paying the rest of that. Now, what they do is they all international fees, my cards, are free fees, okay? It's just the way it is. I have free fees. But at over $7.50, they are not free. They charge me a... I get, I had only get, so I pay thirteen dollars. Let's just say I pay thirteen dollars to pull out two hundred dollars. Now that will really, really, really wake you up. So, now that's recently changed. A new rule of the day, new things happening. That's happened in the last month. So there will be a bank account opened. If that does not happen, another way you can do it is you can have someone in U.S. just send the money to them. However you do it, PayPal. Or just take it out of Social Security, put it in PayPal, and send it to your family member. Have them send Western Union because they can do it in some cases, not always. They will block you in U.S. also in that situation. So, But if you can't get your funds all the way around, what do you do? You just have to be able to bend like the old willow tree and just figure it out. It changes constantly. You never know which way the ball will bounce. You have an idea how it's going to bounce, but it does not mean it's going to go that way. And I, I, I'm bringing this message to you guys because I've had several inquiries about this since I had my money uh, taken at the bank and asked me if I got it back yet uh, as of this week. I, I do not know until this week, so I will find out. So uh, that is the latest and greatest update here on banking in the Philippines. God bless. Thank you always for watching our videos. See you later.